Judaism and God chose Abraham who again characteristically of the Holy Catholic Church was faithful in, so, in uncircumcision and was perfecting itself in godliness a prophet in knowledge and in life conformed to the gospel for he had lived at home to honor his father but like Peter, Andrew, James and John he bade farewell to his, to his family when he was called by God's bidding in obedience to the one who was calling him and to avoid prolonging account and to avoid prolonging the account again I am coming I am coming to summarize on reaching the age of 99 this patria was given the commandments the commandment of circumcision by God and the character of Judaism originated from from this after Hellenism and it was the 21st generation 3431 years after the foundation of the world far from the flood till the tower of till the tower and Seruk, there was Scythianism and there was Hellenism from Seruk till Abraham and until now but there was no name of a sect derived from Abraham other than simply the name of his godly self so and so those who were derived from Abraham were called Abrahamians from Abraham had a sons but Isaac was the sole heir this was both because as his father wished he was lived as an adherent of the true religion and because he had been given to his father by God's promise Be before him Abraham had Ismail by the Ahmed servant Harar and Ketura bore him six children there were dispersed over the land called Arabia Felix, Zimram, Joksan, Ishbak, Sua, Medan, and Midian, and the son of Bonmit. As I said, his name was Ismail, also took up residence in the wilderness and founded the city called Paran in the wilderness. He had to have children altogether. These were the ancestors of the tribes of Hagarians of Ismailites, though today they are called Saracens. Isaac has two sons, Esau and Jacob, and the, and the nation of the godly were called both Abrahamians and Isaacites. When, uh, when Esau had gone off to Idumea, the territory lying to the southeast of Canaan, he became the original settler of Mount Seir, and in this and in this, and it is written, founded Edom, known as Rechem and Petra. He had sons, who were also called the princes of Edom, and they ruled it in, each in turn in Idumea, the fifth in succession from him, leaving Abraham out of this number by counting from Isaac, was Job. From Isaac was the father of Esau, Esau of Raguel, Raguel of Zara, and, and Zara of Job, who was called Jobab earlier, but later named Job, solely because of the trial that came upon him. Circumcision was the custom of all these persons. By his father's and mother's advice, Jacob fled from his father Esau because of Esau's anger to Padan in Mesopotamia, beyond Suba in Mesopotamia. From there he took for wives in all of his own kin, and they bore him twelve children, also called the Patriarchs. During his return to Canaan to his father Isaac and his mother Rebekah, he had a vision from God near the sources of the Jordan. The stream is called the Jabok, perhaps where he had seen house of angels. And lo, we are told, there appeared a man, by which the scripture meant an angel, and even, and rested with him until the breaking of the day. As a blessing, as a blessing, he gave Jacob a title of honor, Israel. 
When he left there, Jacob was named the place Sight of God. Now, since the one who told him, Thy name shall be called no more, no more Jacob, but Israel shall it be called. Name up, had named him, had named him Israel, and has distinguished him by saying, Thou hast power with God. Thou hast had power with God, and with men, thou shalt be mighty. They have been called Israelites from that time on. Israel too went down to Egypt after Joseph's descent. He too, with he with his whole household of sons and grandsons, the wives we have spoken of we have spoken of and others, seventy souls in all. The people of Israel lived in Egypt for five for five for, for five generations. For Jacob was the father of Levi and Judah, and the other ten patriarchs. Levi was the father of Kohat, Judah of Ares. Kohat was the father of Amram. Amram was the father of Moses. Phares was the father of Esrom. Esrom was the father of Aram. Aram was the father of Aminadab. Aminadab was the father of Nason. During the lifetime of Moses Nason, in the fifth generation record from Levi, Israel departed miraculously from Egypt through the Red Sea and encamped in the wilderness of Sinai. And when God directed his servant Moses to make count of men between twenty and fifty who could draw a sword and bear arms, he found as many as 628,500. Inahus was well known among the Greeks at that period. His daughter was Io, also, at, also called Atis, from, for whom the prison day Attica is named. Bosporus, for whom the city of, Bo of Bosporus on the Black Sea is named. Her son as, as well. The Egyptian called her Isis and also worshipped her as a goddess. Also with the same name as his is a river called Inachus.